Good morning. Our hymn today is entitled, Take Time to Be Holy. 1 Peter 1, 15 and 16 says, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. William Longstaff wrote this hymn in 1882. He wasn't a traditional hymn writer, but he wrote this hymn after hearing a message on the text, Be Holy, for I am holy. Longstaff was independently wealthy and supported his church and religious causes, especially those of Ira Sankey and D.L. Moody. Another source says he wrote it after hearing a missionary to China saying, Take time to be holy. George C. Stebbins composed the music. He made it a habit of making notebooks from authors' poems and hymns clipped from newspapers. Stebbins was working with evangelist George Pentecost in India. The evangelist mentioned that he needed a hymn on holiness. Stebbins remembered seeing Longstaff's poem on Take Time to Be Holy and sent the poem with his music to Ira Sankey in New York where it was published. If people in 1880 needed to be holy, then how much more do we need to be holy today in 2023? A truly holy or Christ-like Christ -like life reveals the virtues mentioned in 2 Peter 1, 5 and 6. Goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. To maintain that quality of life, we must spend time to develop it genuinely and consistently holy in every area. Take time to be holy. Thank you for letting me share that hymn with you today. And please come back next week for another one on Thursday. And if you're watching on uh, Facebook, please share it with your friends. And if you're on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button.